Professor, I've been waiting for you. How much time do you suppose we have spent together? Enough that I believe I can predict how you'll feel about something. The truth is, I want to ask you a once-in-a-lifetime question. Um, yes. I know that the end of the war hasn't granted you limitless free time. But you must have more time on your hands than you did during the war, yes? Would you spend that time with me? I want to know more about you. I want to solve the mysteries that surround you. I don't think I'll ever meet anyone more intoxicating than yourself. I want you to be mine, and I want to be yours. Here is proof of my desire. Will you accept it? Oh, thank goodness. I don't know what I would have done with myself had you turned me down. Though, I feel like I've come to understand rather a lot about you. So I didn't honestly think you'd reject me. Oh, just wait. I will understand you even more. Our future together has only just begun. Before I become bored of this business, I wish to learn all there is about your crest and your strength. And perhaps we'll even come up with ways I could help you guide Fodlan. I as a crest scholar and you as a leader of Fodlan. We will take our first steps together into this new world, the two of us working as one. Once things settle down, we can retire to the countryside. A place where the air is fresh, the lakes are full of fish, the sun is warm, and where we may nap deeply. Without naps, life is nothing but work. I value you too much to let you spend your whole life laboring for others. You're the hero of Fodlan, after all. Besides, naps are the entire point of retirement. It may be some time until we can nap beneath a tree, peaceful sunlight filtering through the branches. But when that day comes, to have you there lying by my side, paradise, and we will have made it so. How did you know I was here? You know me too well. That's exactly what I was about to do. Once I got to thinking about the war being over, a lot of my old fears started to return. I'm afraid to go home. Afraid to see my parents. I don't know what to do. Please help me. Wait, where are we going? Don't make me go. Goddess Tower? What are we doing here? This is it. We're all alone. The perfect time. You're going to kill me, aren't you? All right, I've made my peace. And for what it's worth, I'm glad it's... Wait, you wouldn't? Of course you wouldn't. I'm not even worth killing, am I? I knew it all along. I'll go lock myself away now. What did you just say? Is that... a ring? Well, um... this is... um... What kind of ring is this? When a man gives a woman a ring, it usually only means... Is that what this means? I... I don't know what to say! I accept! Of course I accept! This means... I'll be able to shut myself away in peace again. You can go off doing your hero things and I'll hold down the fort. What? Don't tell me you want me to keep leaving the house. <sighs> Fine, but in that case, I have a favor to ask. There's a reason I've been able to cope with going out of the monastery so much. It's because I've been with you. I'll never completely get over my anxiety, or my fear of strangers. 
or my compulsive need to run and hide. So whenever you tell me to go outside, I want you to come with me. Wherever we go, whatever we do, I want us to be together. Always. Because when I'm with you, I feel... Wait, did you agree? You mean it? <sighs> You're the greatest! I... I love you so much! We're going to be so happy together! Is this where you've been? Everyone's looking for you. With the war over, I'd like to think they'd at least give you a few days rest. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't tell them you're here. It's a rare occasion for me to have you all to myself. No, I've given up on that. I realized there was no point. Besides, maybe the person I've been looking for is closer than I realized. What? Is that... That's a ring. It would be very embarrassing if I had the wrong idea, so... I have to ask. Are you proposing? Here? Now? To, to me? I, I don't know what to say. Are you sure? You want to spend your life with... me? Even though I'm not a songstress anymore? And I don't come from a noble family, or have any wealth or land to my name. You won the war. You could pick anyone in the world. Why would you? Okay. I mean, yes. Yes, I love you madly, and I'd be happy to marry you. But if we're going to be married, I had better think up a cute nickname for you. Don't you think? <laughs> oh, I wonder what I should call you now. Darling, my beloved, <laughs> so many options. I starred in so many operas where I captured the heart of my beloved, but I never dreamed that it would feel this wonderful when it actually happened. A life singing for you in a peaceful world. I imagine that life will be more wonderful than I ever could have hoped. I love you. I could never sing anything as pure as those three little words. We really had success! We got the victory! The war is finished now. There are still many, many problems for solving. I... It is past the time I should be returning to Bridget. Yes. My grandfather. I... I can't be leaving him now. Our relationship with Fodlin will be changing. I am royalty of Bridget. There are duties that I must be fulfilling. But... I can't be sitting on the throne. I will be choosing a new leader. And then I will be returning to Fodlin. This is what my heart is wanting. Yes. I am meaning... No? I will try to speak with more precision. If I were staying away from Fodlin, then I could not be having what I am wanting. And that is... I will be telling you now if you are wanting to hear it. I am wanting to... To stay with you. I have hopes that we can spend all of our lives close to each other. I want us to be supporting each other and live with each other. In times of joy and times of sorrow. In all of the times. Is that... Is that a possibility? This is... A ring of promise. I have understanding. And I am accepting with all of my heart. Rings are for promising weddings. I read all about that custom in a Fodlin book. I have never told my feelings to someone like that before. 
I had so much nervousness. You have made my heart fly with happiness. I, Petra, give you my promise. Spirits of Earth, please be guiding us home for all of our days. Spirits of Water, please be filling our cups with kindness and good fortune. Spirits of Wind, please be gifting us freedom and divine protection. Those are the words we are saying in Bridget when we give someone our promise. There is one other thing to be said. <clears throat> My beloved, you are the most precious thing in the world to me. You enchant and fascinate me, and each day, you set my heart aflame. <laughs> Did I give you a surprise? I have been practicing those words with great diligence. I am so happy. You have my deep gratitude and all of my heart, for now and forever. for the short notice, but I'm so glad you could make it. I'm sure you're very busy being the hero of Fodlin and all. Then I'm afraid that what I'm about to ask may come at an inopportune time. Do you mind hearing me out? Ah, great! Here it is. I'm going to Furdia to meet with my adoptive father, and I'd like you to accompany me. I feel the need to set things straight with him, in my own way. I've already decided exactly what I'm going to say. I'm choosing to live my life how I want, in pursuit of my own happiness. I need you to accept that. I'm in charge of my own destiny, not you, not anyone else, just me. <sighs> I've waited so long to say all that. That's a very good question. Where do I start? Remember when I teased that I'd fallen for you? The truth is, that wasn't entirely in jest. I fell for you some time ago. In fact, I'd very much like to spend my life with you. Of course, that's only if you'll have me. Oh my goodness! Yes! Let's! You've no idea what this means to me. This may be the happiest I've ever been. I'm so glad I could finally express my feelings. Now we can live the rest of our lives together. To think... I was able to choose this path of my own volition, and now I get to walk it with you. <laughs> Should one person be allowed this much happiness? But still, you're only given one life. Are you sure you want to spend it with me? I may be quite demanding at times, as I intend on pursuing my dreams. I want to help those in need, wherever they may be, and I won't give up on that. I thought that's what you might say. Perhaps that's why I fell for you. It's just the way you are. All right, let's be off. It's no short journey to Ferdiad. Oh, something to note. You should know that I can be quite scatterbrained and clumsy but I will do everything in my power to help and support you too, whatever you may need. What a wonderful life we will lead together. There you are! Everybody's been looking for you! 
It must be hard being so popular. I bet it's a whole lot of work, too. If I'm being honest, I'm a little bit envious. So do I. Like I said, I'm envious. After each battle, there's always more to do. So every day is exciting in its own way. Though it's true I haven't been able to relax for a while. No matter where I go or what I do. <sighs> okay. So I finally realized why it is I feel this way. It's because... I need you. When I'm with you, I feel like I can be myself. It's not a matter of doing my best or not doing my best. What really affects my happiness is whether I'm with you or not. <laughs> um, actually, I've practiced what I'm gonna say to you countless times. But of course, now that it's time to say it, I'm feeling shy. <laughs> Terribly shy. You... You what? Oh goodness, you really mean it! Oh, I... I'm sorry. <laughs> Why am I crying when I'm so happy? <laughs> I've been so worried about this. I, I was thinking about what I'd do if, if... If you said no. But then... You asked me. I didn't even have to ask you. I'm just... So relieved. I love you. So very... Very much. We'll be together forever. And ever. I promise to make you happier than anyone's ever been. My darling. Is something the matter? You seem lost in thought. I know you've been very busy lately. It's wise to take breaks and rest, especially with all that is going on in the world. Actually, I, um, <laughs> I wanted to speak with you about something. I, uh, I promised myself I would wait until the war was over. Well? Professor, I have feelings for you. Of course, I respect you as a person, and I'll understand if you can't love me back, but... Still, I had to tell you. Though my focus has ever been on my duty and training, I cannot deny the feelings that have arisen. My dream is to attain knighthood. But now, I have a new dream to hold tight to. That is to be with you. Always. Um... I... Oh, is this? I must say, I'm a little inelegant with such matters. Battle is all I know. Are you quite certain? You truly desire to share your life with me. I, I am so happy. I, I worried that my feelings would go unrequited. Now that all of that is out in the open, I feel as light as a feather. My love... I... I swear to stay by your side, always. I swear on the goddess above, and on you, here at my side. You and I together, entering this new age. No matter what the future brings, I will stand by you, as your sword, your shield, and your dearest companion. There is nothing that brings me more joy. It truly is all I need in this world. I love you so very much. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm overcome. This may take some getting used to.
professor. I... We have. I can feel that the crests are no longer a part of me. That must mean I'll... I mean, my body will... Thank you, Professor. No matter the outcome, I feel a sense of peace. I have hope, and that hope will carry me through it all. You've done so much, searching for a way to remove my crest, to save me. I can't tell you how much it means to me. I will not claim my title. House Ordelia will end with my father's generation. After this, I'm going to begin preparations for our family's dissolution. This will ensure that the people of our territory will not be troubled. And my parents will be able to live out their lives in peace. A good question. I hadn't considered it. But assuming I have life left in me, would it be all right if I came back here to stay by your side? Without my crests, I'm not sure what all I'd be able to do for you. But you have given me a new life. I want to use my time to support you however I can. I just... Oh, is this... This is... What I said earlier, about not caring what the outcome of all this is, I take it back. For the longest time, I didn't think I'd be around to be a part of the future you and everyone were creating, that I had no place in it. But now, I cannot fight it any longer. I do care, and I do not wish to give up on chasing that future. I do not wish to die. I refuse to give up on myself or on our future. And so, I promise to come back to you, no matter what. Once I'm back... Yes, I quite like the sound of that. Together, it is decided. We will be together forever, living long, full lives. Count on it, my love. apologize for chasing after you. I really need to speak with you, but I can come back if now is not a good time. Thank you. You've always been so accepting of me. You've never rejected me for my flaws. You have given me the strength and courage to look forward to my future. But I won't know what to do with myself when the war has ended. When I'm gone, Will I keep moving forward, or back? Well, my adoptive father wants me to return home right away. Though he put all that talk of marrying me off to a powerful noble on hold. For now. Apparently I'm being hailed as a hero back home. Can you imagine that? Me, a hero. And now my family wants me by their side so they can flaunt my new status about town. How silly. Even so, it is nice that my relationship with my adoptive father has improved. It is starting to feel as though I am a true daughter to him at last. No, I've been considering what would be the best course for my future and... Well here, please, won't you take this? I'm sorry for surprising you with this so suddenly. In truth, I've surprised even myself. It's unthinkable that someone who spent their entire life avoiding people could offer you a ring. But who I am now? It's all thanks to you. You've shown me a strength I didn't know I could possess. I wanted you to see how far I've come, and how much I've grown. I guess... 
I wanted you to see me show a little bravery. I'm not asking you to marry me here and now. That would be a bit much, perhaps. Maybe we can just think of this as a promise. That you will always be in my heart. What? Really? You would want to marry me? Even with all my flaws? You know... I'm stronger now, but I can grow even more if you stay by my side. I'll do everything in my power to support you, and I hope you will continue to support me as well. I... I love you... so very deeply. Thank you for giving me the world. Hey, Professor. What are you doing daydreaming in a place like this? <laughs> I was doing the same thing, but still. I've been thinking, Professor. I worked hard to make it this far. All I wanted was to enjoy life, but so much for that. I had to go and become diligent, and it's entirely your fault. Yes, you believed in me even when I told you not to. When I failed, you encouraged me. You kept looking out for me. Being treated like that, well, it made me want to try harder. I've gone to such lengths for you, you know. <laughs> what a pain. Ha! Does that mean I'm off the hook now? I guess it doesn't matter because peace is here. No more hard work. Let's celebrate. Aw, what? I thought the fighting was over. <gasps> Does this mean what I think it means? Wow, I... If I accept, we'll be depending on each other for the rest of our lives. Your life's gonna be hard. You wanna lay that burden on me too? Here I thought I was free as a bird again. Don't you think this is a bit much? Oh, you're doing it again, overestimating me. And yet, I have no choice but to accept. It's all your fault again. This time, for making me fall in love with you. I do have one condition, however. Don't go thinking you can keep expecting things from me. A girl's gotta draw a line in the sand somewhere. From now on, I'm only going to do the things I want to do. So, say if I want to support you for the rest of our lives, I'll go ahead and do that. And I'll do the best I can. As for you, you had better keep taking care of me too. Got it? <laughs> well then, now that all of that is settled, I happily accept. Thank you for watching over me and believing in me. Let's keep doing that for each other for the rest of our lives. Professor? What are you doing here? I was talking to Gerald. The sky feels so close, like you can almost touch the stars. I thought my voice might reach him. That the war's finally over. And that his kid and his greatest apprentice did an amazing job out there. <laughs> Maybe I'm overselling the part I played. Thanks. But I was nothing compared to you. I feel like an idiot for ever thinking I could surpass you. I have managed to keep my promise, though. So, how would you feel about hiring me again? Can't exactly go and break my word now, can I? The 
war's over, but the enemy might still be lurking. What if they're waiting until I'm gone to attack you? But... Oh, I get it. You're probably pretty tired of me always trailing after you, huh? Love? As in... As in the way a commander loves his soldiers, right? Of course that's what you mean. Oh, that's... Uh, that kind of love. Can this really be happening? You want to marry me? I... Of course I will. You are being serious, right? That would be an awful joke. I'm sorry. I should have been more honest. All that stuff about my promise a minute ago, it was mostly just an excuse for wanting to be near you. But I'm not really the romantic type, so I had a hard time coming out and saying it. Are you sure this is what you want, though? I know I'm not exactly conventional. Guess I'm really wearing this ring then, aren't I? But I do still have a promise to keep with Captain Gerald, too. You've got a big job ahead of you, building a whole new Fodlin. I'm going to support you through all of that. Make sure it never gets to be too much. <laughs> then that's that. I promise to protect you until death parts us. And I'll be happy for you to do the same for me. you were actually trying to say. You cannot possibly be serious. How can this be true? You are sincerely saying that the progenitor god Sothis dwells within you, and that you have inherited her power? That is utterly... bizarre. If I may be so bold, do you consider yourself male or female? I have only ever heard you referred to as a male, but Sothis is most assuredly female. Am I to believe that you are a male goddess? I am not certain how much sense that makes. I suppose there are circumstances by which such a thing is possible. Oh, are you not? But if you have inherited her power, then surely the two of you have become one. Ugh, it all makes my head spin. I suppose I will take your word for it. This is a ring. Oh my, it is beautiful. So delicate and feminine. Is this your ring? So then you walk around with a woman's ring. Surely this is proof that... Am I? Oh, oh wait! Now I recall. I have heard that it is customary to bestow a ring upon the person one wishes to marry. Which would mean... Hmm... Does this mean what I think it means? Me? You? Us? You mean to tell me that you have fallen in love... with me? I think I might faint! I... No one has ever... Well, uh, of course they have not. Oh, my apologies. I am quite taken aback. Are you most certain I am the one whom you love? I always knew there was a deep, special bond between us. I never quite imagined that it might develop into this. Or... Perhaps I did imagine it. Often. I must ask once more. Are you certain that you are not the goddess Sothis? Oh, this is all so surreal. I graciously accept your proposal and this beautiful ring. Your heart is as vast as the ocean. I ask that you wrap me in your embrace. For now, and for all eternity.
Are you sure you should be here? There must be tons of young girls falling over themselves just to get near a hero like you. Or are you not interested in such attention? What? Not looking for romance, then? So that's why you never gave in, no matter how many times I tried. Listen, I get it. No need to explain anything. It's better this way. It means I wasn't the problem. Wait, am I the problem? I suppose if I had some charm, maybe you would have fallen for me. Oh, why does this always happen to me? I don't doubt it. So, who's the lucky gal? You probably have your pick. What? Have you gotten me confused with someone else? Look, you don't need to take pity on me, okay? Or... That's not it, is it? I can see it in your eyes. Nobody's looked at me that way in a long, long time. I sound like a schoolgirl, but this is the moment I've always dreamed of. So of course I'm going to mess it up by not knowing how to answer. Just give me a minute to compose myself. Okay. Come on, Manuela. Ooh, that's better. So, my answer... Yes, yes, I would love to marry you. I'm a complete mess, and I'll be a massive pain to you from now on. But in exchange for the trouble, I promise to give you all of my love. So don't let me down, you hear? You know, until this moment, I didn't realize how much my heart longed to call you my own. I want to love you, and to be loved by you. I want to share my life with you. And you really like that idea? Oh, <laughs> oh goodness. Oh, I just giggled. Maybe I'm not as old as I tell myself. Or maybe you just make me feel good about myself, my darling. What are you doing here? Waiting for someone? Haha! -ha. You've got a knack for rib ticklers, no bones about it. We weren't planning to meet up. Anyway, things seem to have quieted down across all of Fodlan. But we can't slow down now. The work's only just begun. In fact, we'll probably be busier than ever. Agreed. I'll always be here to support you. But when we've got a little breathing room, I'd like to go fishing with you. We can sit by the water together and idly cast our lines, not a care in the world. Uh, <clears throat> it occurs to me, were you really waiting for someone? A little rendezvous, perhaps? Ah, <laughs> good for you. You're at that age, after all. Time to settle down. Well, <clears throat> I should get going. I'm sorry, it's just... When it comes to your life, I get emotional, you know? You've... You've done so well. You've persisted through so many obstacles, and you've just... kept on fighting. I have no doubt Captain Gerald's looking down proudly from heaven right now. And of course, I'm proud of you too. 
I'm a very proud big brother. You could have let that one slide. <clears throat> At any rate, let's keep marching forward together. For Foodland. For the captain. Of course you can count on me. As long as I live, I'll be your most faithful ally. Sorry to bother you, Professor. I know you're busy. You're going to be the new Archbishop, after all. I'd just like a word. As you might imagine, I've been contemplating my future. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I've always seen myself as a servant of Lady Rhea, not of the Church. Now that she's stepping down, I'm lost. I don't know what to do. I suppose I could go back to Fargus and take up the Karen name again. But that's not what I want. I'd rather not be tied down by my family name. It wouldn't feel right, falling back on knighthood simply because it's what I know. It would be different if I had a reason to continue being a knight. Well... If you told me you wanted me to remain a knight, that would be a good enough reason. Or if you said you wanted me to stay by your side forever. Or if you said you wanted to get married, for example. Wait, are you being serious? You are. But I'm... Thunder Catherine, whose very name frightens little children, who knows what I might do to you? I'm no good at cooking or sewing or anything remotely domestic. Why me? You love me. I... I'm glad. As for me, I love you too. Deeply. I never expected things to turn out this way. But now that they have, I'm certain I wish to remain a knight, and stay by your side. Will you accept? Good. After all, swinging a sword has been the only life I've known. But from now on, the power of Thunderbrand is ours, not just mine. For now and forever, you can't escape me. I hope you're ready. Sorry for making you wait. Negotiations went long. <laughs> Not curious about the contract? They wanted me to stay on as a mercenary, but I said no. I've been considering a different kind of commitment instead. Less of a contract, more of a promise. Good. I thought you might want to follow Fodlin tradition and exchange rings. Right, that's that. Shall we be off? What's wrong? Were you expecting more? We've been fighting together for so long. No need for words. I've said enough. Right? I can see this is important to you. <sighs> Fine then. I vow to stay with you through all of life's many hardships. I will stay by your side, and you'll stay by mine. I left Dagda, crossed through Bridget, and came to Fodlin on my own. I chose the life of a mercenary, alone, and free to live wherever and however I pleased. Now I'm choosing to remain here, to live the rest of my life with you. <sighs> Is that enough? I'm just embarrassed. Look at us. We have no idea what to do with ourselves. But, you're right. This is a special day. Now then, are you ready to go? <laughs> Fine.
fine. We can stay. I've already made a fool of myself. No point in trying to avoid it now. So, what else is there to talk about? Oh, right. Remember when I mentioned how much you have in common with my old partner? I don't think that's actually true. I didn't want to admit that I was attracted to you. So, I convinced myself that I was just pining for the past. I was worried that revealing those feelings would ruin our friendship. <laughs> anyway, it's your turn to talk. Tell me about your past. <laughs> You're lucky I love you. Otherwise, I wouldn't let you get away with an answer like that. What is it now? You are a fool! Just standing there and acting nonchalant! Have you already forgotten about me? I also said I would always be with you! But perhaps you would have preferred it if I had vanished without a trace. <laughs> you were alone. And so I chose to come back to this world, to stay with you. I know, I know. Keep back your tears. You have me now. And I must say, that you have done quite well. Of course you have. I chose to join our souls because I have great faith in you. And yet I must admit I did not know you would achieve so much. To think you could have died so early on. Well, who can say? My memory is faint. But all is well that ends so well. <laughs> is that not what they say? Huh? What is that thing? A ring, of course, but I must ask, for whom? I see, or no, I take it back. You are not making any sense. Could it be that my own feelings were somehow influential? But when I think about it like that, I can't help but feel that... that... That I'm so in love, I should make an eternal vow. What? Oh, I... Uh, were you... eavesdropping? Oh, fine. I shall admit... I do. I love you deeply. Overwhelmingly. Passionately. Ours is a love without an end. And so... I guess I shall accept that ring of yours. Indeed, it's only right, for you and I are joined within our souls. And that is much the same as marriage, don't you think? The stone within your chest is little more than decoration now. That means, it is within your very soul that I exist. And so? Whatever are you waiting for? Hmm? Ah, well, just wear it on your own finger. Our love is all that matters, not a ring. The two of us are one, for now and ever. I hope you are aware of that. In sickness and in health, and come what may, I shall be deep within your heart. I... I... love you... 
And I can feel the warmth of love from you as well. I know. You can no longer hide a thing from me. The day you die, I'll follow you. We shall journey as one until the end of time. <laughs> I never tire of being around you. Since we could not trade words for far too long, I have much that I wish to say to you. I know just where to start. Do you recall what we spoke of before? I had told you not to let your guard down. Honestly, I adore you, but you can be so childish. <laughs>